how to animate an object along a path in Adobe After Effects. That could be a plane on a flight path or a car down the street or something. You've seen that many times and it's actually pretty easy to do. So let's have a look. All right, so we're in our comp here. I, ha I already have the background in place. Let's add this little plane graphic, scale it a little bit like so. And now we want to actually draw that path. For that, select the pen tool, start dragging on your canvas. Let's say you want to do it kind of like this. And then go in and tweak that path a little bit so it's a little more rounded, like that. And as you can see, it has added a stroke already. So this should, this should do for now. All there is to it is actually this one step here in the shape layer that you just have created. Twirl that open. Contents, shape, path, and then click this path parameter and then copy it. Command or control C. Go to that plane graphic, find the position parameter right here. You could also hit the P key. That's a very common shortcut that's uh, worth memorizing. So click on that and then hit Command or Control V. And that's basically it. You have actually pasted that path to the position of the plane and it has automatically created the keyframe. So it's actually converting that path into keyframes. Just keep in mind that if you, when you want to tweak this path, maybe destination's wrong or something, you have to repeat that process again. So it has created these two keyframes. These keyframes in between, by the way, are so-called roving keyframes. So all you have to deal with are actually the first and the last keyframe if you want to extend this animation, okay? These other three keyframes you don't have to touch. So we want to extend this, and then we want to ease it a little bit. So select those keyframes, right-click keyframe assistant, easy ease. That adds some easing to the first and the last keyframe. And the next thing we want to do, we actually want to orient that plane along the movement along the path. Okay, so click on the plane, right click, go to transform, and then click on auto orient. And then in that context menu, click orient along path. What that will do, it will actually rotate that plane along the path. As you can see, the rotation is still not right. We have to rotate it by 90 degrees. So let's do that now, go to the plane, find the rotation value, hit the R key, and then rotate it by 90 degrees. And now it should be aligned perfectly to that flight path. So of course we want to have that path layer below the plane so we can see the plane, like so. And now what you could do, you could actually add a dashed line to the flight path. So twirl open the shape layer, then under content, shape, stroke, twirl that open, and then under dashes, click on dashes. And we want to increase the size a little bit, maybe around 40 will do, like this. Okay, that worked. That one thing that you might want to do, actually, maybe that plane should actually leave behind a trail and not just follow that path. So that you could do with trim. Since we're in that shape layer, click on add, and here, click on trim path, okay? And when you open the trim path, go all the way to the beginning of the animation and hit the stopwatch in the end parameter, give it a value of zero, and then move all the way over and give it a value of 100, so it's complete. And as you can see, it's kind of trimming the path. Of course, there's no easing just yet. It's not aligning with the actual motion of the plane. So select these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And now it should align just perfectly. Really simple to do, nice little effect. You see that a lot when like planes or vehicles are traveling across maps or something. This is a little stylized, but could also be a real plane and a real map. And you've seen that many times in movies. And this is basically how it's done. 
If you found this video helpful, if you learned something new, please consider hitting the like button, which will help me promote this video and my channel. That will be very helpful. I hope I will see you in my next tutorial.